Hey guys, um, this is Cammie's Cam, and I'm coming to talk about ovulation. Well, actually, I'm coming to talk about no ovulation and ovulation or Ali ovulation. I don't know how to pronounce it, but basically, when your body doesn't ovulate. So, if you want to know more about it, stay tuned. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video. Subscribe to my channel right now so you can um, stay updated, keep updated on my journey because the reason I'm making this video is because during my research, doing my googling, doing my YouTube searching, I look for all types of videos today, especially today, about people that don't ovulate and I literally pretty much haven't found any. Maybe one or two or three but I want to find a channel where somebody's talking about their body not being able to ovulate because I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people in this situation just like me and you know sometimes you need a little advice sometimes you need other people like you to communicate so you all can help each other or either at least just vent to each other so that's the reason I'm making this video I'm going to be happy about it because God is using me and I want to help you all so basically, go ahead and subscribe to my video, subscribe to my channel, I meant, um, and follow my journey. I'm trying to do a natural journey on getting my body to act right or be right. Um, so go ahead and watch my other videos and continue to watch my updated videos because I will be making more. So basically, ovulation. Ovulation is what you need to have in order to have a baby. I'm sure you know that if you're watching this video. Um, my body, I do not naturally ovulate. I found that out maybe about a year or two ago after I got married basically is when I found that out. Um, I went to the doctor, told them I wanted to try to conceive. They did my blood work um, and because I have longer periods, I kind of was, I was kind of already tracking my ovulation to see if I ovulated with little strips I bought off of eBay or Amazon something but they were cheapies and I never got a positive like I never got a positive so that kind of hurt wonder what was going on or maybe I didn't know how to read the strips right but the doctor confirmed that I did not ovulate um, so my problem is my body does not ovulate on its own the only way so sorry the only way to that seems that my body ovulates is when I took Femera um, I did start taking Femera eventually and that definitely helped because I definitely ovulated. Um, however, naturally, my body does not do it. So I pulled up some of my labs from the doctor's office that I had some time ago when I first found out, 2017. So yeah, after I got married. And my progesterone lab that confirms if you ovulate or not was 0 .3, 0 0.3 NG slash ML. That is super duper low. That's basically zero if you ask me. That's how I felt. It's like a zero on the test. So that kind of destroyed me. I, it, it made me depressed, stressed. It made me feel kind of less of a woman in a way. It just sucks that your body doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So after we found that out, that's when they started me on the Femir. I started, I think, with... 2.5 dose then eventually they bumped me up to 5 milligrams and that is where it worked for me um, so when you don't ovulate it kind of sucks because if you want a child you know you have to ovulate to have a child if you're not ovulating you won't get pregnant unfortunately um, so my journey what I want to keep you all updated about is how I I'm ovulating. I want to actually try to do it naturally. That's what I'm trying this cycle. I'm not trying to actually conceive, but I'm trying to see if my body would naturally ovulate. However, the test I have taken so far, um, it's cycle day 14 right now. I usually do not ovulate until, I mean, excuse me, but when I took my Femera, I usually do not ovulate until around cycle day 18 or 19. So it's only cycle day 14, and I have been getting like negatives all around except for one day yesterday cycle day 13 for some reason I took a test but the urine kind of got cold because I didn't dip it right then and the test was 
positive. However, at this, I used the same exact urine and I dipped the digital, which is the clear blue. I dipped the digital one in the urine and it was a flat zero. It was a negative. Um, no peaking, no surge, no nothing. However, when I took the clinic, I used clinical guard OPKs. When I took that, it was a positive. But when I took it again later that day, it was a negative. All of my tests were negative. I took like four that day and I got one positive. But it was really rare and confusing because for one, I know it's probably too early for me to ovulate, which was on a cycle day 13. That never happened when I was taking the pills. But it was like a clear positive ovulation test. Um, so basically I'm making this video because I want to, I've been researching and I have yet to really find anything that's specifically for inducing ovulation for people that don't ovulate on themselves at all. So I've been looking for things. The only things I have been taking this week to help with fertility is serapeptase. Um, I take, I've been taking this, I've been pouring this. You're not supposed to pour it. You're not supposed to open the capsule, but I do because I can't swallow pills. But I've been pouring this into my teas which I have these two teas that I bought off. I bought all of these off Amazon. I mix it with honey, um, what's that stuff? ACV, apple cider vinegar, and cinnamon. Cinnamon helps with fertility or PCOS too, which I supposedly may, may not have, but the doctor says it looks like it from my vaginal ultrasound. So, basically, I'm looking for help, and I'm also looking to help you guys. If you have any natural products that you know can help induce your body if you're not if you're a woman that does not ovulate and you're trying to conceive and you have had some success with um, making your body ovulate naturally please give me some help help me find some products help me find some certain foods some enzymes some herbs some something but so far this is what I'm taking so if I get a positive this month well I did get a positive this month but it only lasted for a second, however, I took the digital at the same time and it was a negative. It's so confusing. So I don't know if this actually helped and I did ovulate early on cycle day 13 where I got that one positive strip or if it was just a false reading. Actually, I'm going to show you all the strip because it looks positive to me. Hold on. guard tests. I keep them in a little bag. I don't like to keep them laying everywhere. Um, this is how I keep them. I keep them labeled. Keep the stick on the inside like this says cycle day 12 a.m. p.m. Uh, but it was cycle day 13 so let me find that one. So I'm going to show you all cycle day 13 so on and how I, I think it looks pretty positive. The morning one compared to the evening one. So, here it is, guys. Ooh, sorry. Let's try to do this without it looking so bad. So, here is cycle day 13. This is the positive reading. This is how it looks to me. To me, that looks pretty positive. Hopefully I can get the book. Like, they are the same color to me. I can't focus. Sorry, guys. But, however, I found that to be a positive reading. There. But, when I took it later on that day, this was the evening strip. I put the pea side in the package because I think it's disgusting to just go and touch that. This was the evening one. And I thought those were two totally different colors. Like, the side closest to my finger over here is lighter. So...
So yeah, basically it said I ovulated that day, but I took the digital at the same exact time and that said a flat out zero. You know you can get three readings on the clear blue. You can get uh, just a plain circle, which means uh, you're not close or you're not ovulating. Then you can get the blinking smiley face, which means you're close, and then the uh, stagnant smiley face, which means you're ovulating. So yeah, I'm one of those ladies who unfortunately do not ovulate. Um, I'm just trying to find ways to improve that. Maybe this stuff did help. Maybe these teas and this supplement did help. These herbs and enzymes. Because like I said, I got a positive. Maybe I shouldn't be doubt, doubting myself and actually thinking. Maybe I should think positive. Maybe that was a true positive, you know? Just because the digital one didn't say I was ovulating, maybe that one was wrong. Maybe it's the old test. Who knows? Maybe I should just think positive. But anyways, I'm going to keep the faith. Um, you guys let me know what all you are using to help you ovulate if you do not ovulate on your own. Um, not as... Well, you can tell me any med, anything, drinks, teas, medicines, herbs, vitamins, anything that I actually, but if you have any natural ways of knowing how to help your body with that, give me the natural ways, um, and I'll get, keep you all updated. If I find any research or find that this stuff is working for me, I will let you guys know. As of now, I'm confused because, like I said, I'm not sure if it, I actually ovulated or not. Um, so, yeah. I will keep you all updated. Continue to follow my channel, follow my videos, watch everything I do, um, like and subscribe to my channel so you can get updated. Hit the notification bell so you can know when I post a video. Um, the red box down to the bottom right, that's how you just subscribe. And there's a little red looking bell, it's a small bell. You can hit that and it'll let you know when I post the next video. Um, but I plan to keep you all updated. But please, please, please comment and help me help you. Um, and that's all. So we will talk about not ovulating together. But we will progress and success. We'll progress <laughs> and succeed together. Because we got this, ladies. You know, God put us here to do what we're supposed to do. So do not give up. Keep your faith. Um, and just keep it moving, you know. You're doing what you're doing. You're doing the right thing. Don't let nobody tell you different. And just do what's best for you. And that's all, you guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Make sure you watch the next video for my update, okay? Bye.